Just out of the blue yesterday, my computer stopped being able to do a power on self test when I tried to boot it. This LED indicates that there's a DRAM problem. The one that just flashed indicates CPU. I've tried clearing the CMOS. I tried using this single RAM stick in all four slots. I've tried this single RAM stick as well. I've tried removing the CPU cooling fan and processor and reseeding them. I've tried using my backup power supply. It did not help. I tried holding down both the power and the reset button for 10 seconds in order to load the backup BIOS and it never loaded. So I told Gigabyte about the problems I've been having with this board. They sent me an RMA. I'm gonna go ahead and mail this board off. I thought I'd give a quick timeline regarding the RMA process with Gigabyte. My PC stopped working on July 17th. I did the troubleshooting you saw on in the intro and requested an RMA on my Gigabyte X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming motherboard on July 18th. The RMA was approved on July 19th pretty fast and I mailed the package the same day. Post office tracking shows that the motherboard was delivered to Gigabyte on July 22nd, again, pretty fast. However, Gigabyte did not show receipt of this item until July 26th, four days after tracking showed delivery. The RMA website showed a repair date of July 28th, but they took their sweet time after the repair and did not ship the X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming Board until August 8th. I received the board back on August 13th via UPS. This is the motherboard that I sent to Gigabyte for RMA service 25 days ago. So let's test this thing out. A check of the serial number shows that it is indeed the same board. After plugging in my Ryzen 5 2600X processor and Rip Jaws RAM, I was still getting the DRAM error code. I plugged in some Avixer budget series memory to make sure it wasn't the Rip Jaws RAM causing the error and received the same error code. I went through the same troubleshooting steps that I tried before my first RMA to no avail, including using my backup power supply. With Gigabyte saying that the BIOS on the motherboard was fixed and none of my DDR4 RAM working, my next troubleshooting step was to try a different processor. I went with the lowest cost second generation Ryzen, a Ryzen 3 2200G. I also found a good price on one more stick of Crucial DDR4 RAM. After trying out the Ryzen 3 and the Crucial RAM, I still had the same error code popping up on the Gigabyte. At this point, I've tried two different power supplies, two different processors, two different video cards, five different sticks of RAM, and an RMA on the Gigabyte motherboard, and it's still no go. It's time to try a different motherboard. I have almost enough hardware to build two computers, a budget build and another with a little more muscle. For my budget build, I ordered an ASRock B450M Pro 4. Okay, my ASRock B450M Pro 4 came in, got the plate, got some SATA cables, got some tiny screws for my uh, SSD drive, got a book that I will be reading in software, and this is, uh, I think it's called Micro ATX, it's a pretty small ATX board, I'm okay with that. It has what I need on here and it supports both of my Ryzen processors. I'm going to try them both out, make sure they're both good. I'm going to try out all my different RAM too. So let's uh, hook power supply up to this and see if this thing works. I'm going to try my Ryzen 3 2200G first.
And I'm gonna pair it up with a stick of somewhat slow, crucial RAM. So with the ASRock, I was able to boot up into the BIOS. It detected my processor, it detected my processor speed, it found the memory chip that I put in, it's running at the appropriate speed. So, I've gotten a lot further than I did with my Gigabyte board. Next, I wanna try this budget RAM here and see how it works. All right, I got dual channel memory mode going with uh, 16 gigabytes. Speed is running at 2133. Okay, finally, I'm gonna try these rip jaws out. All right, it is running only at 2133 with uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. Let's see if I can get it up to 3200. Yes, I got it up to 3200. This Ryzen 5 2600X has six cores instead of just four and it runs faster than that Ryzen 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this onto the motherboard. Oh yeah, the Ryzen 5 doesn't have onboard graphics so I'm gonna have to plug a graphics card in. Cheapy graphics card is installed. It's recognizing the Ryzen 5 2600X. It's running at 3600 megahertz. Memory's running in dual channel mode. It's seeing all the memory and the speed is good. So everything's A-OK. -okay. My takeaway from this experience is that the ASRock B450M Pro 4, despite having an older chipset, has higher user ratings than the Gigabyte X470 or Ultra Gaming. I should have checked those user ratings before making my purchase. Checking the Newegg website, I'm not the only one having the same problem with this board. I would still like to do a build with the X470 chipset, but I don't know if I'm gonna trust sending this back for a second RMA and paying postage yet again to get it back with no improvement. I'm kind of starting over on my build with a different board, so I still need to install this in the case, but I'm gonna go ahead and save that for a later video. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other stuff I have. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and remember, stay thrifty, everyone.